when we create charts we are comparing data categories by their quantitative value so for example i'm going to create a column chart now expand this chart a little then i want to compare our regions which is my data category now and i want to compare the regions by sales which is my quantitative value so i'm comparing regions by sales so you see i have my region on the x axis and i have my sales on the y axis now there are times when um we might want to understand better we want to go from the position of higher granularity to a lower granularity position during our analysis so what i mean by that is since i'm currently looking at sales by region now there is probably um a sense that i may want to see what's happening inside one of the regions so maybe i want to go to the central region for example and i want to see the performance of the states in the central region when i have a need to do something like that it simply means that i want to be able to drill down from my regions into states and how you implement drill down on power bi is to add a second or a third or a fourth category to your axis to the axis that basically carries the category on your chart so since i currently have regions now if i want to be able to drill down from region to states i'm going to carry my states i'll just drag that and i'll add it underneath region here in my axis my x-axis in this case now the moment you do this one thing i will advise you to do first is once you have two uh, or more fields on your axis and you know that you've basically enabled drill down mode you are going to notice two things on your chart the first thing you notice is let me go back to report view the first thing you are going to notice is you will see a set of icons at the top of that chart so if i remove state from here now you see those icons are not there when i put in states again you see that the icons are back so two things you are going to notice you will have some icons showing up here and then the second thing is you will have an extra tab at the top of your power bi tabs that is data and drill so my recommendation is the moment you have a chart that enables drill down the moment you create that chart just come right here to this data slash drill tab at the top so click on that and immediately you do that please go and click on drill up like this so make sure the chart remains like this because this is most likely the way you are going to be making use of the chart then secondly make sure that this option is not enabled this option that says data point table make sure it is not enabled i'm going to tell you why so sometimes when you create your drill down your chart this option is enabled by default and what happens is every time you go to click on any of the members of your chart like this it is just simply going to create um you know a complete data that filters to the item you have created right and it gives it to you in focus mode like this so we really don't want that behavior to be our default behavior so you want to ensure firsthand that you disable this option that says data point table so i'm going to disable that option data points table so once you disable the data points table option if i click on any guy here what you simply see is that is just uh you know highlight that guy alone and grays out all the other options that you have so first things first when you create a chart and you enable drill down just come right here to the data slash drill option and make sure you immediately drill up and then also make sure that you turn off or you disable the data point table option because usually this is how we tend to set up to use our drill down option in power bi desktop and we are going to see some other explanations after this